What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Shining Fire, and today we have my red eyes, my red eyes deck profile today. The reason why I'm doing this one is because I decided to go a little old school for Joey because I was I loved Joey back when the original manga, the original manga for Yu-Gi-Oh came out, as well as the original TV series came out for. For it and I met the actual Joey instead of uh, Judah, Jida, or uh, I can't remember how he how his name goes in manga. And I, oh man, whatever. Anyway, so I decided to build this entire deck based off of his. I don't want to say strategies. I want to say his cards. This is a red eyes deck, but it ha but it has more than just red eyes monsters in here because I can't seem to find all these suited materials to fully build a black red 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 eyes black dragon deck. Sorry guys, I cannot speak. <sighs> all right, so let's start this off. Here we go. We have three red eyes flame metal dragons. Reason why? Simple. You need combos for it. Oh, camera's tilting because the cards are are shining. It's trying to refocus itself. Basically, if you if it has exceeds materials, you can use this card to inflict 500 damage for each one attached to it. If it's going to be destroyed it, once per turn during the player's turn, you can detach one from it and. Bring your red eyes normal monster back from your graveyard special summon it. Basically, all you're gonna have is red eyes monsters attached to it. Oop, camera moved. Next, we have is Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. Man, such a good card. And uh, the reason why I say such a good card is because your opponent cannot activate any spells and traps when it attacks. It's basically good and useful for dealing great amounts of damage. <sighs> Alright. Let's move on before I try to go all, all high strategy with it. And that will really make you guys just want to close the video. So, future, so, me in the future for editing... Make sure you get rid of this whole part, please. Or rather, just get rid of that last part. Anyways, here we are! Into the future. Into the future, I'm already still here. Agar Sword Dragon, okay. It can attack your opponent directly. It's also... If, you're, if the only monsters your opponent controls are Earth, Water, or Fire. Yeah, it's pretty useful since... Most nowadays, most monsters are pretty much fire or water. Or basically, most of, well, not not nowadays. Sorry, extra decks now consider most of light monsters, earth monsters, or dark monsters. So, mm, one out of three is not bad. Black Skull Dragon. This is an old school card. Love it, and it's still good. Always can count on Summon Skull and Red Eyes Black Dragon from the original days. Next up, we have two Flame Swordsmen for the final part of these fusions. It's not Joey if you don't have Flame Swordsmen in here. Come on, guys. Use your heads. Now we have the Blackstone of Legends. This card's a combination in itself. Summon it to the field, sacrifice it, bring out Red Eyes. Then, at the end of the turn, Bring Blackstone of Legends back to your hand. Or rather, shuffled and by shuffling it and a Red Eyes Black Dragon, by shuffling a Red, a red Eyes monster in your deck. It doesn't have to be Red Eyes Black Dragon. It says Red Eyes. The only monster not allowed is Red Eyes Black Chick. So, this is basically your best combination to get Red Eyes out into the field. Quick, fast, and furious. Red Eyes Black Chick. This is the card that all cards say cannot be used for their summon. 
it helps you summon red eyes. Then of course you got red eyes black dragons. This is your main setup. That's all that needs to be said. <laughs> Sorry guys, but it's pretty much self-explanatory with red eyes. Red eyes black metal dragon. Basically all you need is metal morph, which is in here. It gains three. It has 2,800 attack, and it's good for really dishing out damage and bringing the pain, but not as much as Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Oop, it won't. It, it. Now, by banishing the dragon type monster you control. You can basically special summon it from your hand or graveyard. That's pretty good if it's already in your graveyard and you're using it as a special summon. And last but not least, we have Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Basically, with all the dragons you already do have in here, it gains 300 attack for each one of them. So when I do make this entire Red Eyes deck, even though it has 24 attack points, it will go through the roof with all the dragons in your graveyard. Then we have Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. This is basically the Gemini monster from the Legendary Collections 2 with Joey, Kaiba, and Yugi. Now this card is good because it starts out as a normal monster, but its effect is when it comes up to the effect, damage calculation perform, perf, performed involving this card at the end of the battle phase, it basically inflicts damage to your opponent equal to this card's original attack. So if you would upgrade its attack to say 4800 somehow, your opponent would be slammed with 2400 from its original attack so it's an instant damage wielder basically it's like using a burning fire blast the spell card roasting your opponents alive next up we have red eyes retro dragon another good card to have in your deck in your red eyes deck especially when you need its effect because if you control a red eyes monster, you can automatically summon this card from your hand. But it'll be in defense position. Sorry guys, I'm starting to get tired again today. Going back to work tonight and I gotta get this video out. I'm on deadline to try to make the anniversary video. Can I do it? Hopefully. Because this week, guys, after when Saturday, after Sunday hits and Monday comes up, my birthday is coming right up the day after. And I'm trying to do everything I can to try to get these videos out, out, out. Basically, if this monster attacks a defense position monster, you can deal damage to it. You can tribute it, no one summon a red eyes monster from your main during your main phase. The only card I wouldn't recommend, since it already says it on the card, is Red Eyes Black Chick. <laughs> so basically you can bring a red eyes monster to the red eyes black dragon to to your field again. Then XC summon red eyes metal flare dragon. Um, red eyes archfiend of lightning, another gem Gemini monster. But when it does get its effect, it can destroy all face of monsters with defense lower than this card's attack. So, if it has a low defense, consider it gone. Uh, ooh, Black Metal Dragon. Basically, equip it onto it, gain 600. Uh, Red Eyes Monster, equip it. When it's equipped, gain 600 attack. When it's sent to the graveyard, you can add a red eyes card from your deck to your hand, except red eyes black chick. Sorry guys, but it's pretty much a simple as 
I'm trying to talk. Basically, for this one, for Red Eyes Wyvern, at the end phase, if you didn't normal summon the turn, you can send it to the graveyard and just special summon a Red Eyes Black Dragon. Self explanatory, guys, sorry to tell you, but that's basically all this deck is. Kind of like my Destiny Hero deck, it's self explanatory of its strategies. Blue Flame Swordsman. This card is actually good for giving its attack to lower, to lower level monsters or to give your higher level monsters even more attack. And banish this, and when you banish this card, you can summon a fire type warrior monster like Flame Swordsman to the field. That's basically always good for in this deck. But then we have Giffrey the Iron Knight. Even though no equip card can be equipped to him, once you use Release Restra Restraint, then you get his ultimate form, Giffrey the Swords Master. When equipped to when equipped with his equip cards, it can destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. That's pretty. That's pretty powerful. If you have an all equip deck, Giffrey the Lightning. Needs three tributes, but when it does, destroys all monsters your opponent controls. Good for combinations of getting rid of your opponent's monsters real quick. Now, summon skull. The reason why I put this is not just for black skull dragon, but for arch for black skull arch fiend. I believe it. I don't know which. I forget if that was correct or not. But still, summon skull is can be useful because it. Because it's good for two different fusion monsters. Of course, I had to add Jinzo in here because after he beat Esperoba, he used this card constantly. Negates all traps. It's basically just for that. Then we have Joey's two favorite monsters that he's always used Time Wizard and Baby Dragon. Time Wizard is his lucky gamble, Baby Dragon is the card he uses to make it grow. Then you also have Algear Swords Algear Sword for the other fusion monster with Baby Baby Dragon. Now these two are in here be for the fusion of Flame Swordsman and that's it. Basically you can either use them to toss or hold on to them to create Flame Swordsman. Your call. Card of the Red Stone. Send a send a red eyes monster to the from your hand to the graveyard. Draw two cards. Basically, like your own version of Pot of Greed. And then three Inferno Fire Blast deals twenty four hundred damage to your opponent. So long as you control Red Eyes Black Dragon, but Red Eyes cannot attack the turn. It does that. We got two Red Eyes Fusions. Good for fusing monsters in your deck. That's all that needs to be said. Red Eyes Insight. Uh, you can send Red Eyes, uh, Red Eyes monsters from your hand or deck to the graveyard. And you can add a Red Eyes Spell or Trap. What you're basically doing with this is you're using it for your combinations for red eyes. Like red eyes spirit, red eyes... Uh, I'm trying to think of the other ones. Well, they're in this deck, so you'll see what I'm talking about, and I'll explain. Of course, guys, I had to add in Giant Trunade, because... Sorry, guys, I'm getting the inside joke with the meme from my head, where they have... Hey Trunade and Hey Trunade saying hey to Giant Trunade. Sorry guys. As soon as I saw the picture, it just popped into my head. Basically, to get rid of all the spells and traps on the field, send them to their respectful owner's hands. You gotta have Monster Reborn. Even though it's banned. I believe. I gotta check the ban list again. Anyways. Of course, we had to add in polymerization for the fusions. You gotta have a pot of greed. 
So greedy. Release restraint for Gear Freed. I know I'm going through that quick, but it's basically self-explanatory since I've gone through it already. Premature Burial. This is for you guys who want to just bring out your monsters back from the grave and just really just mess with your opponent. Salamandra. I, it's self-explanatory for Flame Swordsman and Blue Swordsman. Gain 700 attack and really mess up your opponent. And last spell card for here is Mystical Space Typhoon. For all y'all who just want to be mean to your opponent and mess with them more and more with this deck, because that's basically what this deck does. This is one of those, hey, you got a combination? Nope. Got a combination? Nope. Got a combination? Nope. Here it is. Red Eyes Burn. This is one of the other ones for Red Eyes Insight that you can get. If a face-up red eyes monster you control except red eyes black chick is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one of those monsters. Both players take damage equal to the original attack. That is seriously a lot of damage unless you have a shield ring. Or ring shield or defense ring. Something. I forget what it's called. It's been so long since I've reviewed this deck. Two red eyes spirits. Basically to bring back red eyes to say, hey, you got rid of it? Nope. This is this is what I'm talking about, guys. Return to the Red Eyes. Another card for Red Eyes Insight. Oh. Red Eyes Monster. Uh, if you control a Red Eyes Monster, except for Black Chick, you can target a Red Eyes Black Dragon normal monster and you get a guard special summon it. And this, since this is a continuous card, you can do you can you can use this over and over until this card is destroyed by your opponent because they got so angry that they said, "No, what? Destroy." Metal Morph for Red Eyes, but for Red Eyes Metal Dragon, you gotta have Kunai with Chain with Joey. Come on. Basically, sends a monster in defense mode or gains makes a monster gain a little bit of strength. Alright, you got two magical arm shields. Why? Because it helps protect you from an opponent's direct attack. Because if they have two monsters, you only have one. You can take one of your opponent's monsters and say, nope. Nutrient Z. Why? Because you're going to need a boost with this deck because it takes a little skill and a little effort and a lot of luck to try to pull off some of the combinations in here because, like I said, Red Eyes is a quick deck, but it's also a, I don't want to say, it's a beach. I didn't say, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beach deck. I don't want to say the real word, but I guess... I, I got as close to saying the way as I'll say because I'm not going to say the real word because if I do, I'm just, I don't want to be hated by so many people. Uh, it just gives you 4,000 life points before you dealt a serious blow. Reverse Trap is basically all increases and decreases from uh, equip cards that your opponent gives to themselves or to you <clears throat> are reversed. So instead of losing attack, you would gain attack. If you're gaining attack, the, op the opponent's monster would lose attack. That's basically self-explanatory for itself, but I had to specify. Waboku stops an attack and makes all the damage you would... Well, yeah, it just basically stops all the damage you would take for that turn only. If I said it in another video, I said probably gains gain some help. I was wrong. I forget. Fairy box is a game of heads or tails. Heads you win, tails you lose, basically, because everybody wants to call heads. 
In order to keep it though, you have to ha pay 500. It's basically a game of chance, and Joey is all about that. Token Stampede. All tokens on the field will gain a thousand attack and cannot be destroyed by battle. It's basically if I add scapegoat or I get some other token, some token cards on here to really let loose. Finally, the last card: Seven Tools of the Bandit, guys. Yes, you'll pay a thousand life points, but it'll help you get rid of the trap that your opponent is going to try to mess with you and that is why this is here stop it destroy it and life is good again well guys that's it for this deck profiling of red eyes if you guys appreciate all these deck supports that I'm doing yes I know I need sleeves for all these cards but I, there are not enough sleeves in the world to try to sleeve up all all the cards, and I don't want to buy those cheap uh, cheap seven dollar ones because I want my cards to you know have a little bit of finesse into the backgrounds, you know, like most players do. They don't most care most players should actually have styles on the back of their cards. Like from an anime that they've, another anime they've watched to, you know, confuse people or make them say, oh, I remember that. That's basically what I want to do. Like, for instance, the game that I chose, G Sword Art Online, for the, for the next couple of months, for, Ju for June and July. Then I'm going to be switching out for a playmat I just received yesterday. Along with some new, uh, some of those sleeve cards that I've been hoping to come in. They came in and we're going to probably use them to sleeve up some of the cards we're going to probably get in the packs of the 100 pack opening. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, if you're not already subscribed... Subscribe, hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon to get notified of when I upload my videos. Share these videos with your friends, annoy your friends with these videos, and tell them to subscribe because I'm going to need you guys to help me support my channel. If you guys want to see some more, some more unboxing, some more action, and maybe get a little insight. Of in view, uh, a little insight on when some certain things are gonna come out. Like for instance, I'm gonna get the Pokemon Sword and Sword and Shield game, and I'm gonna try to play that and do an online gaming video, guys, for you guys, as well as do some gaming online. But I'm not sure yet. What do you guys think? What do you guys? Hopefully, I'm also going to let you guys in on a little secret. Nintendo Switch is going to be coming out in August. On August, uh, the new Link, uh, Link monsters that are now out. They get, they're going to have a new Yu-Gi-Oh! game that's going to be out for the Nintendo Switch. Like they did the, leg the Legacy of the Duelist. And it says, and it'll be Legacy of the Duelist, Link Restart. It'll be coming out August 20th of 2019. And I'm definitely going to get that and try to do a review on that. Go some old school Yu-Gi-Oh! Then to the GX and 5Ds all the way up to the new Link Summoning so I can learn to Link Summon better. And basically try to get better in the game itself, guys, because... I'm seriously trying to. I'm seriously struggling with this link summoning. It's it's both easy and complicated, especially when I just recently watched some of the anime and I'm already about ready to throw my life into despair because 
speed duels are gonna kill Yu-Gi-Oh, I think. Sorry guys, I gotta say it, but speed duels are not the way of the future. I prefer a full-on 60 card deck, 60 card deck duel. Because you got more strategies, you got more time, it's not like boom, 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 boom. Too quick, too fast, too hard. Because you can't have enough time to strategize and with only like 15 to 20 cards in a deck leaves you with less strategy, less time to prep, to prep a deck, and basically you're having a hard game of luck, because depending on what deck you're trying to build, and with only 20 cards, you're going to need serious luck. But as always guys, that is just my opinion, whatever you guys think, let me know. As always, guys, make sure to live it up. Bye.